Hey, what's up, snipers? Sniper Nick here, and tonight we're gonna go over the watch list for tomorrow, which is Wednesday, March 11th. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Real quick before I go dive in, this is the last thing on my screen here. It's from our chat, our boy Sniper Strata. He said he made 150 bucks, but look, he says, I am sick. He says, I struggle so bad with my exits and winning trades, which is a really weird issue. Um, you know, as long as you're taking the bag, that's not that bad of an issue. Hey, 150 in the day, that's actually really nice. You know, that's as much as I used to make at my full-time job. Good stuff, Strata. Like our boy El Chamo says, practice makes profit. Not a big deal. We're here to just take the predictable waves of the move. And that's what you did. You took something that was there, it was predictable, it was in your plan. Overall, good job, man. No matter what, it's always gonna be a learning game. That's why you gotta love this stock market. So this one is not the worst of issues, but it's an interesting one. And uh, at least you got the hang of things here and you got a plan set up. So good stuff, Strata, man. Let's go ahead and let's dive in to our watch list. This will be a quick one tonight. We only got four stocks to talk about. And the first one we're talking about we are in. We bought 100k shares of Paso at 0 0.029 on its dip from the high a day push it made in Power Hour. All right, so as you can see, Paso actually didn't close at its high. We didn't get the close that we really wanted. However, the plan stayed intact. So we are holding our position still and we're swinging it overnight. So let's go ahead and dive in Paso for the one day, one minute, and let's show you where we got in in our plan for tomorrow. Paso made this, this new high over here and we decided to go ahead and grab it on a dip. We, we put in the bid and it ended up dropping to us and it took us right there at 0 0.029. As you can see, not much movement after that. We really wanted to see a push back to test that 315. Um, however, it is trading pretty good dollar volume for an OTC stock and it's holding that 2.8 risk spot in which we had so we decided we're swinging it overnight. One key thing why we like the dip buy is because it's coming up to this key 52 week breakout. Sweet spot for these OTC plays. Ideally it gaps up and tests that 52 week breakout in the early minutes. If it doesn't gap up, we're not going to give this one too much room since it didn't do too much during power hour. So we're going to use 0 0.029 where we got in as our new cut. Our next group of stocks that we're going to talk about are two NASDAQ stocks that are actually on the short radar. And that is NOVN and AYTU. AYTU is a fresh spiker from today. We'll talk about that second. Let me dive into NOVN first. With both these stocks, they're coming off of some nice gains. Uh, NOVN was just at 36 and it got all the way to 96 in two days. AYTU on Monday was at 34 cents and it hit a high of 299 today. That's freaking wild. Uh, but we'll dive in on you know that spike and why we're looking to short it now. Uh, but first, let's look at the NOVN. Uh, we really wanted to see this one hold at the end of the day today. As you can see, it closed off its highs. For us to short it, we do want it to get back up there. So what we're looking at for NOVN is for it to gap up tomorrow. If it does gap up, we're really gonna be eyeing it since that'll be considered the third green day. Ideally, it gets one more run, okay? That's what we really wanna see with NOVN, it get one more run to short into. Um, however, the weakness that it showed today, if it does get a spike back up to 96 but gets rejected, we'll still look into this using that as our risk spot, this 96.7 resistance here. AYTU, let's talk about this wild, wild runner. 489% close. It ended up reaching over 600% intraday. Just freaking wild. Uh, the thing with AYTU, we knew it could have legs because it was a low float and it came out with some significant news in the morning. It gained US distribution agreement rights for COVID-19 rapid tests, which gave it a huge run, right? So they finally came out with that COVID news. You've seen it with a whole bunch of these other low float penny stocks come, just come out with something with COVID, then it goes running. I wouldn't get too excited about this company. It literally was just at 34 cents. That's why we're looking to short it. Um, however, since it is a low float, this just shows the potential of these plays. Look how wild this is right here. When it ended up breaking out of that high a day at 12.45, it pushed all the way to three. So from 166 to three, almost 100% on that push. Super nice move. And now after hours, it's still kind of holding this two spot. So we really like that it's holding it. Really, this one gets a second spike as well. We're gonna be keeping an eye on it either way though, because it is up holding 489% just in one day. If you decide, you know, to play the breakouts and stuff like that, 
you know we're gonna wait for the weakness to creep in but keep in mind it is coming up from 34 cents on monday we're in no rush for aytu we're definitely gonna wait for the weakness however it is up already so much just in one day so let's see if the weakness will already creep in tomorrow Look at one more spike if you could and last but not least guys we always like to have one wild card play out there this is our wild card for the night plag it's planet green holdings and this one is actually having a first green day which is nice but what we really like is it's extremely low float and it's a low market cap it had a day where it spiked all the way from 4 to 722 so it's had a couple of those one and done run days um, so we aren't too excited about this wild card play diving into the one day one minute the volume wasn't amazing um, however it did close at its highs so as our wild card pick we're gonna keep an eye on this 2.9 mil float so if it does get some volume in the morning hey it could get that morning push we'll be keeping an eye on it plag our wild card pick of the night all right guys thanks for tuning in that wraps it up for tonight a couple people have been making some good money in the chat Christina, our boy Jerry has always been crushing it. Strata, nice play right here. Trading eight, taking the size, taking some position with us. I saw that. Uh, excited to see how that opens up tomorrow and uh, just excited to get back in the chat for webinar Wednesday tomorrow. Much love, snipers. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys.